morning, folks. This is Naim Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. I'm back with Mahaski Horse, still recovering from this, uh, not coronavirus, from flu. So, nonetheless, let's get on with our main topic, and that is today's Bank of England's meeting. The bank came out with its monetary policy decision. It didn't change the interest rate, and that helped the sterling to pay some of its losses. But the bank increased its asset purchase program. So let's have a look in a little bit more detail and then see what exactly it means. But before we do that, as always, it is important for us to go through this slide of disclaimers and this warning. Anything which will be discussed cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now, as always, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform, which can be downloaded from our website, evertrade.com. Now, folks, as you can see, this is your weekly, uh, this is your daily chart, and then you have a three different moving averages on that. First of all, this is your 200 day simple moving average. Then in orange, you have your 100 day simple moving average. In purple, your 50 day simple moving average. Now, the fact that the price has crossed above the 50 and the 100 day simple moving average is a very important thing because this shows that they look bulls are getting back in the trade bulls are getting back in power they are they're taking control of the price and this comes as an import at an important time because next week we are going to see the final leg of conversations on brexit between the eu and the uk and it is highly likely that a deal may actually occur between the two and if it does then that means that the sterling can really rip to the upside. We can see much, much higher moves for the sterling in the coming days. So that is what pretty much what is expected. And the fact that the price has already crossed above the 300 the simple moving average is a very important and an interesting point. Now, if you are asking me, Naim, is there an opportunity here? Yes, the opportunity is certainly here. What you can do in those cases is that you can put your stop loss just under the 50-day simple moving average, or you can put your stop loss just under the 100-day simple moving average, either one of them, depending on your risk appetite that you have, and then you can start looking for a trade to the upside. So that means that you can go up and then put your stop loss just below the 100 day simple moving average and then let this trade run how much will you let this trade run how far can this move can go well the immediate target in terms of the price is going to be near the 131 so which is very very good because you are risking let's say this much over here and in return, this is what you are risking. In return, what you are really gaining in terms of this particular trade is more than two to one. So this is your risk, and then this is your potential gain. So obviously, it makes absolute absolute sense. And then even over here, you may not want to take the full profit off the table because what you want to do is you want to wait for the price to come into next resistance zone, which is going to be between 134, 24 to 135. So that remains your next target. So for now, you would try, you will look for this particular one, two to one price ratio, and then you will look for this move. And then after that, what the potentially could be looking at for the price to go into here. So these are the potential moves that we are be that, that we should be really looking at in terms of sterling, in terms of this particular price action that we are really looking at. Now, what if the price starts to break below? Then what you want to do is wait for the price to drop below the 100 day simple moving average and only and only execute the trade to the downside if the price breaks below the 50 day simple moving average and if you do that then what you want to do is you possibly want to put your stop loss just above the high of this particular candle or potentially you wanted to put your stop loss 
just above the 100 day simple moving average which is going to be just over here now again this is a short trend that we are talking about so let me just write that down for you guys to to you to understand so this is a short trade meaning you go you know short on this one and then this remains your first stop level if you wanted to have a little give yourself a little bit more uh if you want to give yourself a little bit more wiggle room then this is your stop level number one but if you wanted to say, take a little bit conservative approach then this could be your stop level number two and you may only want to take that trade once the price starts to move below this particular price level which is right over here all right folks that's all for today see you guys next time